Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull trap or it's a still bearish reversal trend what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame. As usually let's move to my 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view, let's start from trading view stock market heat map based on the all USA companies market cap and daily performance. My name is Vadik and looks like all sectors still red, right? Only Nvidia was green. That's Nvidia helped a little bit for S&P 500 and Nasdaq, but generally all red. All red, no powerful bull. Now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. Let's start from DXY. You say. USA dollar daily time frame. Uh, let me, if you want to learn more about trading your setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading your setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Below yellow line RSI line and high Kanachi bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, look at that. Green circle when SMA5 did bullish crossover over red. It was entry for bullish trend. Red circle sell signal from the script. SMA5 did bearish crossover over red. It was entry for bearish trend. What we are observed now, like six days ago, it was very oversold on our side, it bounced, and it's still kind of sideways below all moving averages except SMA5, still bearish territory and bearish setup because SMA20, look at it, did bearish crossover over 200, it is bearish setup. Price action was disconnected from moving averages, finally it connected to SMA5, SMA10, still, but Still sideways bearish. Nasdaq triple Qs was today flat. It did the same as six days ago. We did touch the SMA 200 and it did bounce from that SMA 200 because it was strong support line bounce. Now let me show you. It partially filled the gap. It filled the gap below. Partially filled the gap above. And let me show you. And it almost touched SMA 100. SMA 100, strong resistant. SMA 200, strong support. Now it's in that range. It can be rejected from SMA 100. So far, still in the bearish territory, still bearish trend. Especially last bar, it's a reversal bar. It can be yeah, dodgy bar, bearish reversal when buyers and sellers met at the same price action. It's usually a reversal bar. Could be rejection from SMA 100 and it will continue bearish. Maybe it will do double touch, double bottom of the, it will do double touch of the SMA 200. We'll see. So far, it's nice positive bounce, still in a bearish trend bearish territory. For our time frame it's definitely bullish. SMA 5 and 10 and bars that bullish crossover over 20 it is bullish signal but what it did last three bars it did touch SMA 50. SMA 50 is strong resistant and can be rejected. Especially this is resistant level like it was it was rejected here when it touched recently SMA 50 SMA 200 was rejected. SMA 100 did bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish setup. One hour time frame. One hour time frame, it's still positive sideways also. And it was sideways below SMA 200. Still kind of weak. Uh, still above SMA 20. would be rejection from SMA 200 sideways so far. VXN volatility index from, SM, from NASDAQ 
still in a bearish reversal trend. It touched the SMA 20, still, uh, si still flat. It can bounce from SMA 20. For bearish crossover, SMA 5 is over 10. SMP 500 flat today. Similar setup like Q's, right? It did gap down, but it didn't touch the SMA 200. It did bounce. On last two bars, they even move above SMA 100. They close above SMA 100. SMA 100 was not resistant. Uh, maybe it wants to connect back to SMA 20. SMA 20 will be resistant. We'll see. Bullish reversal still below, below SMA 20, still bearish territory. Four hours time frame similar. It did bullish crossover, bullish reversal. But last three, four bars, they touched SMA 20, SMA 20, strong resistance. It could be rejected and could continue bearish trend because you see SMA 20 is down trend. It is bearish setup. One hour time frame. Especially, yeah, we should expect a yeah, red day tomorrow because of the, uh, uh, because of the volatility indexes. Uh, behavior on Friday. Okay, one hour time frame for S and P five hundred. Last bar still above SMA five ten and bar above SMA twenty still in the bullish territory. Still in the bullish territory on one hour time frame. Now, VIX. Let's start weeks. Weeks one hour time frame bounce. Let's see daily. Daily it did bearish reversal, bearish trend. Still bearish. It is bullish for egg for S and P five hundred. But it stopped at SMA twenty. SMA twenty strong support. It can bounce from it. Dow Jones daily time frame same setup like S and P five hundred and Qs. It didn't touch the SMA 200, but it moved below the SMA 100. Now it did bounce. And last bar, it's still dancing between SMA 50 and SMA 100. Still below 20, still bearish trend. Four hours time frame. SMA 5, 10 and bars about 20. This bullish territory still sideways dancing around SMA 200. No buyers, no powerful buyers anymore. One hour time frame sideways between SMA 20 and SMA 50. Still below SMA 50 is a bearish territory. IWM Russell 2000, one hour time frame similar minus 1%, last bar and SMA 5 below all moving averages. It is bearish trend on one hour time frame for Russell 2000. IWM. Four hours time frame similar last bar below all moving averages. Bearish trend, bearish territory. Daily time frame, it needed nice bounce from SMA 200. Till last bar dancing around SMA 100 and SMA 50. Sideways. Huge gap above. Still in the best. Yeah, let me turn it on. This is just this gap was filled, but still huge gap above. Still below all moving averages. I mean, major moving averages below 20. It is still bearish territory. RVX volatility index for Russell 2000 still in the reversal stage. Also stopped at SMA 20. All volatility indexes, they stopped at SMA 20. It can be strong support. It can bounce from it. Apple, Apple daily, still, still moving bullish trend. You see, I believe it's, it filled the gap. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it filled the gap. Look at it. Nice, fill the gap. Touch the SMA twenty. Could be rejection. It could continue bearish trend. Nice bullish bounce from SMA one hundred back to SMA twenty. Four hours time frame. 
bullish crossover, bullish trend. And one hour time frame, let's do clarification. You see, yeah, the gap is completely filled, completely filled. Nice. Bullish trend and one hour time frame, also bullish trend and bullish setup. As my 20 did bullish crossover, it's a bullish setup. Tesla. Tesla minus one and a quarter percent. Still last bar SMA five and ten below all moving averages. Still bearish territory. Four hours time frame. Now this gap gap is completely filled. Right, let's delete it. Yeah, still bearish trend and bearish setup. SMA fifty is bearish crossover. Daily time frame still it still has gap above last bar still below sma 200 still in the fight zone between sma 100 support line and sma 200 strong resistance line trend is bearish nvidia plus four percent the nvidia and apple pushed yeah queues up a quarter green bar nvidia daily it's Buy signal, it did touch the SMA 20, could be rejection from SMA 20, connected back to SMA 20. It's trying to do bullish reversal, still fight at SMA 100 level, SMA 100 strong support. It can continue bounce or it can be rejected from SMA 20. Four hours time frame, bullish crossover, bullish trend, last bar above SMA 50 bullish trend one hour time frame also SMA 5 10 and bars the bullish crossover over 200 still bullish trend SMA 20 ready for bullish crossover Microsoft one hour time frame SMA 5 10 and bars below SMA 20 get reversal bearish trend Four hours time frame, SMA 5, 10 and bars at bullish crossover over 20, bullish reversal, and daily. Daily it is still bearish, right? It, after the huge sell off, it did nice bounce, still dancing around SMA 200, below SMA 10 and 20, still bearish territory, bearish trend. Amazon. Amazon bearish trend. It did huge bounce. It didn't feel that gap bounce yet. I'm sorry, it did it. It did huge gap down. It didn't feel that gap yet. It did huge bounce from the bottom, from the oversold territory. But so far it stopped at the at the at the gap level. And it has a SMA 200 could be rejection from it. Still bearish territory, bearish trend. Four hours time frame sideways. Sideways SMA 5, 10 and bars above SMA 20. Bullish territory. Yeah, bullish. Bullish signal. Still dancing below SMA. Below the gap line. Let's see what's going on with the gap. Why we still have that gap. Why you still have that gap? Okay, I don't know why. Okay. The gap is here. It did touch. Yeah, it did touch the SMA. It touched the gap, but it didn't feel it. So far, it's just sideways. Amazon, right? A four hour sideways bearish and daily still sideways bearish. Google. Google also bounced from SMA 200 from the oversold territory, still below SMA 20, still bearish trend on daily. One hour time frame, it did nice bounce, still below SMA 20, bearish trend. One hour time frame, SMA 5, 10, and bars still above SMA 20. 
sideways in dancing around SMA 50, sideways in the bearish territory. Meta, sideways bearish territory, let's see, four hours time frame, sideways also bearish territory, and daily is the same, right? Meta, meta was positive, and it is positive, it was flat today, Still last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Meta still bullish. Four hours time frame, last bar above all moving averages, still bullish trend. And one hour time frame, still sideways above all moving averages, still bullish trend. Meta still positive, bullish. Apple also is bullish, positive. And Nvidia is trying to recover and bullish on one hour time frame one hour time frame only daily still in the bearish territory and apple still below 20 also but more bullish apple and nvidia but only positive and bullish meta everything else still bearish all indexes and equities still bearish on daily time frame they did some bounce on one hour time frame uh Still positive and four hours time frame same bounce, but on daily it is still bearish and looks like they all touched resistant territory, resistant level, and on one hour time frame it will be possible. It will be rejection tomorrow. It will be reverse and red day to tomorrow. That's all. That's all for now. And you say dollar still in a bearish territory, still in a bearish trend also. That's all. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper trading simulator. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.